Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Hard West. Now, I had intended to do a review, but as some people have stated, I have not done the Scars of Freedom expansion DLC yet, so I thought I would do that. Let's go... No, we can't change anything else. Start scenario. String Fellow Quarry, Texas, the Civil War. Kill all the henchmen, do not kill Dr. Gorman. Changed this up apparently, so there's no other scripts to the characters. He's got Golden Bullet, Transfuser, and Saddle Cloak. And she's got Ricochet, Bensfold, Survive a Fatal Shot. If you kill your killer, you'll make it out of a wise and streak. Ah, not bad. I mean, it's not great. Golden Bullet with the gear he's got is terrible. Okay. We can quick fire though. Let's go for him. Is that you, Liberty? Let's go for him. Done that. I hope this gives you the peace you deserve. Side. There's no. Can we, is there, can we get down? We can, but it's a nasty way to go. Not enough luck, okay. Shoot him for that. Go for that one to hit him. Dag now, but we can't kill the guy at the start either because he's in a main story thing. Do not kill him. Okay. Go for him. Oh dear me, there goes Theodore. Can't kill him. Uh, get under cover. Reload. to here. Hold on folks, one second. Let's try for her. Please stop shooting and let me explain. Your pay, you sick bastard. I never meant you harm. Quite the opposite, in fact. Do you remember the day you stayed? After the emancipation. You think I forget a day like that? Many would have seen it as a victory and waited for the fall of the Confederacy. But you took matters into your own hand. I saw what you did. You were magnificent. Okay, so fight your way out of the quarry. Get to dirt.
you killed him. Get to here. Shoot him. And there's someone in that window. There, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so they can't unless they're hiding up here. They're hiding that house with doomed anyway, so freedom was just beyond the quarry gate. But how to get it open? I had guns stashed around the camp, and I had a friend in the brig. I'd been planning. Let's get the door open with her. He's dead. He's got a blaster from the side. Well, that puts a uh, pause on my plans. Missed. Excellent. You risked your own freedom to save that poor devil from the brig. Your courage was incredible. I only saved him because I needed an extra pair of hands. Call it what you will. I still found it marvelous. How you smuggled those weapons in is still a riddle to me. You can do a lot of things when you're desperate enough. Right. There's weapons upstairs. We need to flank. Get in here. So we're trying to break out of... Oh boy, this is going to be nasty. Alright, we know there's someone hiding behind the woodshed. And I haven't got a good angle on them. Okay. There's someone upstairs as well, which sucks. Burn some as luck to kill that person. Let me notice a guy upstairs. Problem is where point blank him. Ouch. Get to the window. I can see I can't see him. Thing. I thought I was doing ricochet. Try that. There we go. Get in there. Got ourselves a musket. So, how's her aim? 45. Ah, uh, he's not too bad. Where's the other stack of smuggled weapons? It's in that building, is it? Okay. We 
notice someone up there. And there's someone definitely in here. Okay. And she's already hurt a little bit, which isn't great. Go for the bloke down in the courtyard. And we'll push on to the other house to get the other weapons. Reload. to relocate. Get to here. She can't hit anyone. We notice someone here which is a pain. Get up here. Ouch. No, I can't do that. Okay. You can only get here, my but it's not great. Dang. Who's the other bloke? He's out there, is he? Okay. Let's... Let's cut across this way. Now we'll go for a shot. And we hit him, that's good. Problem is I can't push out because that person will snipe her if we do. Let's try. Oh, we got him anyway. Reload. So that was a good shot. He's pretty good at dodge this. Yeah. Get the door open. He's got to be on that second floor. Oh, there's someone in here. Dang, no, but didn't didn't think that. Reload. Bad, really bad. Come on, come on. Uh, the problem is, he's stuck in that corner, I can't get him out. Try again. Try for a shot on him. Yeah, I finally killed the guy off on the top floor. 
go for him. Ah, missed. But hopefully it should allow us to reposition the enemy. Because he should fall back. Yeah, he's going to move to here. He can't do anything besides push up. He needs to reload. Try and get him with another shot. Reload in case we have any reinforcements turn up. Uh, to shift location to here. There we go, shift locations there. And turn. Right, he's hurting. Go for it, another shot. Right, I'm going to end turn. Gives him, him time to run upstairs and get the cast of weapons. Right, now we can head for the exit. Hopefully there's not be too many people about unless they keep spawning. Pretty sure I killed everyone, so that isn't the problem. Right, let's get into the house. That's locked, we can't do anything. Where's the lever? Somehow Get it open. we found a way to open the gate to your freedom. When I saw this, I knew you were the one I had been looking for. Sliding down that chute was certain death, but you still braved it. I'd rather die than be a slave a minute longer. It was apparent, my dear, and incredible. And so that's the end of the cam, well that's the end of the first mission. For well, most people who don't know what it was or what what, the, what it did, Eva turned the wheels of, the, of that region. Whatever they knew it or not, everybody wanted it. I had to look away. Your fall was too painful to watch. Luckily, we reached you before the slavers. We took your broken body to my laboratory where you would be safe. Before I could improve you, I need to sever the sever I need several body parts to replace the ones you lost in the fall and ample, and ample supply of ether. I feel my comrade in the morgue may be of some assistance. Right. This person is not a golem and does not suffer from decay. Decay properties. Okay, so. Ether, a viable biological substance with an eerie and unparalleled restorative properties. Golem recipe revenant. Combine gambler's liver, hand of fortune, lucky lung, priest tongue, and human limb. Limp. Limb? Lymph. No, lymph gland. Do we have any cards? No cards, and his all his are locked. Right, his 
accuracy is terrible. But first he needs to get a healing thing. For unknown reasons, graft the graft deteriorate with time. Right. The sad thing is the golems are better shot than he is. Let's see if we can give him the naval gun. I mean there's no real point giving to swim. His aim is so terrible. Right. Bog to go to the Morgan book, purchase a body part. The morgue was run by the mask do by mask doctors, a secret medical society that counted me amongst their membership. The morgue had facilities that ke for keeping human body parts alive outside of the host body which enabled us to replace damaged body parts in humans and alleviate uh, the previously incurable ailments. So I uh, was that elevate early... Anyway. Cure improves the incurable ailments. I reviewed their latest merchandise to search something suitable for me. Havelock, Venice, Venice and, and I had and I had known one another for ages. He was a doctor's primary merchant, exchanging body parts for ether. Ether would be manufactured from various biological material, but for human organs and surgeries, only ether from human materials was acceptable. Anything else caused horrific disfigurations of the subject. The business ran on ether, which made it a de facto currency. If one wanted body parts for their research, one paid an ether, not money. I went on to purchase his wares. Venom stings. Venomous sting. Is that all he's got? But a master of this job of the job of feudal master requires an iron stomach. This one c confers courage to the situation. Ability courage. Okay. The ability crippler. But the golem recipe doesn't have anything we have. We need to have gambler's liver, hand of fortune, lucky lung. Priest tongue and human lymph. Yeah, we've got the stinger because it's cheap. That's the way things work in the morgue. Either for parts to elevate your you beyond the human, ma human masses, I'd need more of both, much more. Get to the point. Why did you do it? Why me? Patient. I will explain all. Oh, you will. Are oh, you gonna have a real pretty hole where your face used to be? Right. So loads more locations have turned up. This is gonna be interesting. Right. We've got Maple Falls, Slaughterhouse, War Hospital, Lintz Mob. Let's try Lintz Mob. A, no a noisy crowd attracted my attention. I soon realised it was a lynch mob. They were, they were bent on punishing a Chinaman whom they said had slept with a white woman. I had seen the poor devil in town, a first class craftsman. He was a good sort with his hands, and a prodigy at finding useful trinkets others might dismiss as junk. Despite the high risk of injury, I decided to break up the mod and save him. A wounded man usually meant a lot of ether. I would be foolhardy to take on the whole crowd. So I watched patiently from a safe distance. I hoped I would be able to salvage something from his corpse. The mob did their worst. They had anything left after they finished. His death was not in vain, however. I managed to salvage one of his hands. So what did we get? We got something else, didn't we? Okay, War Hospital. 
I went to the war hospital where wounded soldiers were kept, were being nursed back to health or to state where they could be put in the front of a house with a, with a begging bowl. I posed as a local doctor, no one questioned my rules. I began circling among the patients, extracting ether from them. I examined the patients, looking for body parts suitable for you. I found a, a, a Moriothic soldier who had once been a sharp suitor. I reasoned that his skill must must lie in his arm, so I amputated one of them and had it sent to the morgue, where my friends could prepare it for my use. As I was leaving, however, one of his nurses said to me as a stranger, she raised a clamour, called the staff to apprehend me. Lucky for me, the response to them was quite uncoordinated, thus I was able to escape before facing the consequences of my actions. Decay. As you visit various occasions, characters with, with trans transplanted with transplants gone to decay, accumulated negative stat modifiers. Observe the clock icon speaks each exploration panel of the gauge how much how each tax increases your party's decay. Decay can be reset at more to the expense of ether. Right, he's got crippling decay. And so what did we get? We got something. What was that? Is that back at the morgue? Actually, wait. Um, purchase at least one more body part. Cure Penny's decay off at the morgue. Yeah, let's do that. I returned to the morgue and Veneer greeted me with a nod. I asked whether he could do anything about the decay. The downside of our transplant te technology was its gift that the graft decayed over time. Once decay set in, gangrene and other diseases were sore to follow. But the possibility, tra but the possibilities of transportation offered triumph any inconvenience, and we were confident we'd be improved eternity over time. At any rate, it was time to get some decay treatment. Okay, I returned to the morgue, greeted me with a nod. He's got Sartan Suter's hands, hands of fortune. We need hands of fortune for the golden recipe revenant. Money doesn't work here, does it? Nah, okay. Interesting. But I think this is where we're going to stop for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. As we get on with doing the DLC, this is very different from the main game, and I look forward to it. I've been Cornish Knight. This has been Hard West Freedoms. I think it's like Freedoms Progress, it's called. I shall see you all next time on the next episode. Goodbye.